I'm Dr. Gary Cuneo, United Nations Resident Coordinator in Jamaica. For almost two years now, we've all been impacted by the most dangerous challenge our world has faced in our lifetime, COVID-19. This pandemic has certainly shed light or has even worsened deep inequalities, fragile health systems, inadequate access to technology, and a global financial and supply chain system that disadvantages hundreds of millions of people all over the world. But the coronavirus pandemic has also reminded us of our common humanity. As the lethal infection raced around the globe, countless stories emerged of disparate communities joining together, of boundaries breaking down, of strange bedfellows making common cause against the threat. Certainly, one of the most telling examples of our interdependence have been the partnerships that has sprung up to confront the virus. Everything from mobilizing new resources, balancing economic and health outcomes, confronting the deep shocks from this pandemic, to filling the urgent need for vaccines, face masks, ventilators, and screening tests, and of course, getting services to the people that need. Where we have been successful, it has been mainly because of community, national, regional, and global level partnerships. It is because governments, civil society organizations, the private sector, and development partners have worked effectively together. As we continue the path to recovery, it is going to be critical that this important lesson the need for strong, enduring, reliable, and productive partnerships. This lesson be embedded in our collective effort to address future shocks and build back better. Jamaicans have long understood this, and I applaud Jamaica's leadership in calling for greater regional and global cooperation. I also commend the people in government of Jamaica for braving this pandemic with resilience and for many times setting a global example. Over the past few years, it has been a privilege for the UN country team to work with key stakeholders in supporting programs that help mitigate the impact of climate change, promote digital inclusion and youth participation, explore innovative ways to diversify the economy, ensure that children can access learning, unlock the true potential of the blue and green economies, create private sector opportunity, improve food security and agriculture productivity, prevent violence, especially as it impacts families, women and girls, and of course, increase access to development financing. All of this while supporting national efforts to fight against the health and socioeconomic impacts of COVID-19. Now still, we realize that we need to do more. And with the commitment of the United Nations Secretary General, backed by all the member states to continue the reforms, the new coordination instruments provided under the Multi-Country Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework for 2022 and 2026, we look forward to deepening our collaboration with the communities, the government, and other key actors in Jamaica to find innovative ways to accelerate progress towards the Sustainable Development Goals. On this UN Day, I would like to thank you, Jamaica, for being a productive partner and for your commitment to sustainable and inclusive change. Working together, we will emerge from this pandemic stronger, more agile, and better equipped to address the growing demands placed on all of us. From the Secretary General of the United Nations and your UN country team, Happy United Nations Day, Jamaica.